Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are reviewing the McFarlane Witcher figures. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you guys will know that I am obsessed with the Witcher lore. Um, if you guys don't know anything about the Witcher, highly suggest checking out the Netflix series or reading the books. The books are phenomenal. I'm on the, to the Tower of Swallows. I believe this is the fifth uh, entry into the book. And, oh, my God, these books are phenomenal, man. Highly suggest checking them out. Um, you know, these books are so amazing that I actually have notes that I write down just so I can remember the major events that happens in each and every book. And that's how much I'm into this lore. Um, of course, I played the video games as well. I played The Witcher 2 uh, and The Witcher 3. Um, so I'm super, super into this franchise. Uh, of course, if you don't know, The Witcher games are made by CD Projekt Red, uh, which also made Cyberpunk. And we know the craziness that happened with that game as well. Um, I still love that game, but... The game was broken at launch and, you know, if you are any gamer, you guys know that that is a horrible thing to happen and kind of ruined the reputation of the studio. But overall, it still doesn't um, stop the fact that I still enjoy their product. And um, so when when I found out McFarlane got the rights to do Witcher's uh, figures, I was all in for it. I was like, give me, give me, give me more. I want to collect all of them. Now, I don't know how far he's going to get into this line. I don't know if he's going to do like side characters. There's still some main characters as well that he hasn't done. Like um, Dandelion, which is Geralt's sidekick, basically. And then there are the sorceresses. There's our um, Triss and Yennefer. Uh, so it kind of looks like he's sticking more towards the video game versions of these characters. Um, well, at least for right now, as this video is uploaded. But <clears throat> you guys should know that I have picked up the figures. If you guys tell by the thumbnail, you guys know that I picked up some of these figures. So I was really, really happy to be able to find these in the store. And... Um, yeah, so here, before we even get started, here are the clips of me finding them in the store. Look what I was able to find. Something I thought I probably would never track down if I didn't go to, like, Walmart, because our Walmart suck. But I'm going to pick these two bad boys up. Uh, this is supposed to be, the, like, their NECA fucking section, but I don't really have anything. They're pretty badass to see these. What's this? Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't even know they carry uh, Bandai model kits. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's pretty cool. And how much is this? Doesn't say. That's pretty cool, actually. Alright, guys. I'm going to keep looking around see what else we can find. Okay, guys. So, yeah, uh, I was able to find these figures in those stores as well. Super, super shocked to actually find them as well. So I was really, really happy. I've been trying to look for these figures as well. Uh, so here is Geralt. Looks like he has a wolf's head, most likely a werewolf's head. So there is that looking pretty, pretty badass as well. Here is the back. So the pictures I feel like don't do it justice. I think the figure actually looks a little bit better in person. So don't always let the promo shots fool you. I think the, the figure looks pretty good as well. The swords are pretty huge, um, which I kind of like that. You know, the swords are pretty, pretty big. Uh, I mean, they're like Claymore sizes, basically. Um, so there's that as well. And, of course, you can't have Geralt without Aridin. So here is Aridin. Um, I always forget how to say this. Black Glass, he is basically, if you guys don't know anything, he is basically the main boss of the Witcher 3. 
Um, he's actually the leader of the Wild Hunt uh, in, in the video game as well. Uh, and I really, really don't like this guy because he ended up killing Vesemir. So there's that. Um, but yeah, he's the leader of the Wild Hunt. So it was pretty badass that, that they actually made this figure. And we get to have Gero versus uh, Aridin for the last battle. His battle scene. Because, okay, so I know I'm going a little tangent here. But like I said, I really love this this thing. Um, so his last battle, you know, his battle uh, fight with um, Gero was actually a pretty hard fight. Um, um, you know, especially because I am a PlayStation gamer. So I like to get trophies. So trophies are my main thing. And one of the trophies is beating the game on hard difficulty. So fighting him towards the end because there is a certain part. Um, well, actually, actually, I'll show that in a cool clip. We could actually see that in a cool clip. So uh, I'm not going to do the cl cool clip right now. We're going to show the fit a video, um, the figures off and then do the cool clip. So here are the unboxing of the figures. Okay, first things first, let's show off the head. So the head looks pretty good. Actually, when I first took this figure out, I didn't even notice the teeth that's on the head of the helmet. That's actually pretty, pretty badass as well. Now, if you guys don't know anything about Aridin, he is part of the Wild Hunt. They're basically wraiths. Um, you know, they're not human. They're elf, elf creatures um, that are basically like race uh basically um so there is that so that explains why he looks like the dead form i wish it would have came with a actual elf um head sculpt because that um uh, basically would explain him as well and he's so badass man like i said he's real real strong um there's that so you know he has all the skulls and uh going or bones i should say Going all across his, his chest area as well. Then with the shoulder pads as well. These are little like plastic little uh, things. Or rubbery material. Not plastic. They're like rubbery. Um, so there's that. Uh, be one of those guys who probably wouldn't like that. Uh, that doesn't stay down. Uh, you know I could see that bothering a few people. But for me it's whatever. I don't really care. Um, and then here is the back. Love the spine, you know, has like little scales going all around it. Love that as well. Then here is like the small cape. I just like the little small minor details that's added all around this figure. It's just so badass as well. Love the hair that's flowing out of the helmet as well. And then the helmet itself. I mean, come on, look at that. It has some gold to it, so it kind of looks like it's a little bit rusted, that it's been worn and torn out, and I really, really like that as well. Then with the gauntlets, uh, same same thing, basically. Here are the, the hands gripping it. So pretty happy he didn't really use the trigger hands as well. And then, um, so here is basically the big long sword. Love the fact that it like grips over the hand as well. And really, I'm telling you, man, I love this whole design. This figure is so badass as well. Then going down to his waist area, you know, it has all these little small designs as well on the legs. I mean, on the waist. Going down to the knee pads look pretty good as well. Like I said, the whole armor just looks like it's worn and torn out. And I really, really like that as well. Let's see how articulation is. Oh, that's pretty good as well. I mean, look at that. He could actually almost touch the back of his head. Actually, he can. Jesus Christ. That's actually pretty good. Look at this. Wow. There's that. Let's see the foot. The foot swivel is pretty good as well. Uh, this is actually pointing my hand. <laughs> so I really like that. So here is like the, the actual boat um, as well. And the boot it has some small little details as well. I really, really like that. Uh, so there is that as well. Uh, let's see the hand. So I at first I thought like the cape was going to block the arm from raising up all the way. But it actually doesn't. So I really, really enjoy that as well. The hands as well. It's pretty, pretty good as well. There is the ball joint that's on the hand. Um, 
I mean, yep, there it is as well. Everything looks so badass. I'm, I really like this figure, man. Uh, I think people are sleeping on this wave, man. I don't hear too many people talking about this wave, but um, I feel like a lot of people would enjoy this figure. Um, I kind of wish they make more of the Wild Hunt or McFarlane, I should say. Make more of the other figures as well. Give us some horses. Give us Roach. Uh, so we could get out. Give us some of the monsters. Like, you know, I will buy multiple Garrods just so I could get certain scenes out. Because that's how much I love this franchise, man. But overall, there is pretty much Aridin. Looking so sick. He looks so badass, man. Okay, guys. So when you take him out of package, this is what it looks like. And this is pretty much the head. It does his job. It, I mean, it's not the best, best. Uh, and, you know, he has this scar on his head. So that's actually pretty, pretty cool as well. You know, he has the scars going around him, then the beard. Uh, as far as Garrett, um design, his whole design look, I mean, I could do a side-by-side -side comparison of how he looks in the video game. So you guys can tell uh, it's a little bit off. I say that as well. And then... Um, one thing I noticed taking the taking it out of package right away was actually the holster or the sheath or whatever you want to call this on his back. Um, for some odd reason, <laughs> I want to know what was the logic of making it open sheaths on the back. Uh, I mean, the back of it don't have it too much, right? You know, this is covered right here. But the back has it open. So when you actually put it on towards this back, you can actually see that it's open. That is a big no-no for me, man. And I was just praising how much I love Aridin. And, you know, I would have... Oh, my God. I would have super loved this figure if... Uh, I mean, the head scarf is okay. It's not the best. You know, it could have been a little bit better. But... The sheath on the back, oh my god, it makes it, it makes it horrible. Um, and it's a really, really big part of the Witcher franchise because the Witcher is known for having two swords. Um, and it's it's one of the biggest part of the lore because um here is always a sword because he has one for killing humans and one for killing monsters, basically. So it's pretty badass that, uh, first of all, you know, he carries a sword for not only just killing humans. I mean, that's kind of crazy and just killing monsters. Um, so there's that. So, you know, most soldiers carry just one sword just to cut everything. But a witcher carries two swords. So there's that as well. So, man, really, really unfortunate. I believe... This sword right here with this handle, I believe in the video game, this might be the the sword to kill the monsters. And this might be the regular sword with the handle um, or with the straight handle might be the sword to kill humans with. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. But this is what I mean. I mean, you know, when you actually plug it in, you can actually see the, sh the sword in the sheath. Not really, really liking that. So that's a big no-no right off the bat. Then there's this hook that's on his leg or basically his waist. And I guess that's supposed to be more for just him, uh, you know, because there's the, first of all, badass head sculpt. I really, really like this as the dead werewolf head. Pretty, pretty sick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ty could give us some werewolf figures, man. Uh, you know, like I said, to go up against Garrow, that'd be so badass as well. So here is the whole design. That's how it looks on the side. Got the tongue sticking out, looking so crazy. Here's the bottom piece. Here's the back of the head. Um, and then, you know, it has the rope going all around the head. Look at the eyes and the teeth. Oh my God. I really like that. But it's supposed to go like around his waist. But this actually thing is not strong enough to hold it on his waist so i wonder what this is about i really don't understand that <laughs> so it might not even be the accessory to hold this but you know it's basically made for gero just holding the actual um head in his hand but i'm not gonna <clears throat> do that because i'm gonna have him fighting eridan so there's that but 
like I said, what I want to do is if we if if um, Todd doesn't make a roach figure or for for you know the horse, if he doesn't make one, what I could do is always buy a custom horse and then customize, um, buy some um, customization pieces, and um, and just make my own roach. So there is that because every horse that Geralt encounters and rides, um, because. He doesn't have one Pacific horse. He's always trading horses for for the better, the better horses. So he all every single horse that he get is called Roach. So it doesn't really matter what horse that he has. So that is the best thing about that, as well. But as far as the figure is concerned, and besides the head and then the sheath, everything else looks pretty good as well. Uh, you know, he has the brown armor. I forgot what armored uh, accessory pieces this is. He has five armors because, uh, first of all, let's show off the wolf medallion as well. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on that. Um, it's kind of hard to see it, you know, since it is a real, real small figure. I mean, the, the medallion, the wolf medallion is pretty small. You can kind of see it right here. Uh, so it's kind of hard to show that, show that off on camera. I wish it was a little bit bigger uh, because that is the main focus of Geralt having a medallion. So his medallion, if you guys don't know, um, his medallion hums every time he encounters something uh, magical. So there's that. It hums and it brightens up. And that tells Geralt that, hey, warning, 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 something magical is close by you. So that's actually pretty cool. Really, really like that as well. Um, but kind of wish it was a little bit bigger so because uh, you could actually show that off as well. As far as articulation um, goes, it's actually pretty good as well. So there's that. There's the double knees. Um, and let's see the foot. The foot is pretty, pretty good as well. Any thigh swivel? No. What about torso? Torso is okay. It's not the best. Um, actually, barely any. <laughs> so there's that as well. The arms, I, I would thought like the shoulder pads would prevent the arms from raising up, as you can see, kind of doesn't. So there's that as well. And you would want Geralt to be really flexible because Geralt is known for his pirate roots. You know, his, um, uh, you know, jumping athleticism when he's fighting these crazy monsters. So you would want that um, to be really flexible because it is Geralt, you know, he is a monster hunter, basically. So there is that. But overall, it looks pretty good. Like I said, it's going to do his job when you put him in an action pose against Aridin. Um, You're going to have him fighting uh, both of them. Uh, it's going to be so badass as well. So there is that. Actually, I would, because Aridin could grip the sword pretty good, but... The sword is kind of loose on Geralt, so there's that. But I'm going to get them in action pose. But before I do that, here's a cool clip of Geralt fighting Aradin. Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic. So Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses, Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The elven sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt's support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Tirnalia. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. The King of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagalfair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aradin into a trap. Any last words? It's a trap! Fight! Wow. 
Witcher. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. against each other, and he's made off with Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that cool clip of both of them fighting off. Man, like I said, it was so, so badass as well. So, quick ideas for what um, McFarlane could do next if he continues the line with these figures. Um, not sure how how well they sell. I know um, like Walmart had put Garo on um, clearance, so I'm not sure if he's gonna continue the line. But I wish he I, I wish he does, man. I'm like I said, I would definitely pick these figures up, and you should too, man. I think these figures are pretty much underrated. Um, you know, I don't think I don't, I don't see too many people talking about them highly suggest playing the game if you're an rpg fan you love a great story um, if, um even if you don't want to play the game highly suggest checking out a walkthrough of of this game and see what the lore is about man if you love like magical creatures um you know roaming around beautiful wonderful um uh, open world um countrysides then you're gonna love the witcher man i'm telling you man highly suggest playing the game uh, you know, if you guys are into to video games and RPG style games, highly suggest checking this game out, man. It's literally one of the best RPGs of all time. Uh, it's rated so high. 
you know, I cannot give it as much praise. And I, I, I really want this line to continue because I would love to see Geralt doing or, or uh, McFarlane doing Geralt with like some of his um, because he has five um, or he has a lot of a, a, a of magical abilities like he's able to um you know they, they're called certain signs um he's able to do a force push which is basically releasing um you know recycle re releasing a, a magic powerful wind that basically knocks you on your ass uh you know he has the ability to do a shield uh what i mean is that it's like a, a orb type shield that goes around him it protects him from multiple hits as well. He has the ability to to um, um, play with your mind as well, make you into his own puppet. Um, and then there is a, a, a sign that uh, traps magical ghosts. So like I said, man, there's so much he could do with these figures. It'll be interesting to see how, how he would make that into figure form. But I believe he's capable of doing it. Like I said, the only downfall about these figures is the sheath. As well, the articulation on the arms, I mean, on the um, on, on the figure itself uh, is, is not the best. I mean, it's, it's it does its job. It does its fair job. It looks pretty good. Uh, can't really complain about articulation when, when it comes to that. Um, I know some people out there will find a way to um, not liking some, some poses or whatever. Um, and then the head sculpts could be a little bit better. Could actually look like, um, like I said, man... Um, you know, I, uh, Storm Collectible does an amazing job when it's when it comes to actually the realism of the figures, because it looks like it's just off the video game and straight into the figure, man. So McFarlane could be could get a little bit better when it comes to that, but everything else looks phenomenal. I highly su highly suggest getting into this line. Like I said, make the monsters as well. The monsters is pretty badass. If I could get a full figure of this badass werewolf. Oh my god. <laughs> and then like I said, man, buy multiple Garrods, man, and have them fighting monsters, man. That's basically what I want. Um and there's just so much monsters as well. Uh he can make and so many characters, man. So hopefully he continues doing the line. Like I said, I'm I really like this line and I want it to do well. So there is that. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did enjoy this, please consider the like and the subscribe button. Helps the channel out tremendously. Keeps me motivated. Keep doing videos just like this one. Uh, I know you guys been hearing this video, uh, hearing me saying this video, how much I want this line to continue. And I really do, man. So let me know in the comment section if you guys picked up this line. What do you guys think about this line? And which characters would you like to see next? Hopefully, you guys watched this video all the way through. Uh, I appreciate you guys that do, man. I uh, appreciate you hardcore fans who are watching me. Um, or so I should say subscribers, not fans. Uh, uh, you hardcore subscribers that are watching me because I appreciate you guys, man. You guys are uh, loyal and I respect you guys for, for being as loyal and, um, you know, with me through this crazy experience that uh, that I'm doing as well never in my life i ever thought well, i'll be doing a youtube channel um based on action figures so there's that man so i appreciate you guys for letting me do that like i said you guys don't have to do that you guys are letting me do this because without you guys i wouldn't be here uh, and i truly truly mean that as well never switch up on your subscribers man never in your life and i would never do that um uh, so thank you guys as well. If you guys um, please uh, share this and like and subscribe. I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys. You guys have a wonderful, amazing day and see you guys.